Hello everyone, my name is Alex Reedy, I play video games, today it's more Splatoon 2 for Nintendo Switch. I'm sorry that I've been absent on YouTube for the longest time, I have been very, very busy. But uh, now that I got all that stuff out of the way, hopefully things should be a little bit better. Um, I'm going to try to get two Zelda episodes out this week if I can, um, just to stick with the schedule for Zelda. Um, but other than that, let's get back into Splatoon 2. So in case you didn't know, this weekend on August the 4th, I think it is, um, this Friday and Saturday, there's going to be a Splatfest of ketchup versus mayonnaise. Now, um, I will be live streaming it. Oops, sorry, did not mean to do that. Um, I will be live streaming it on my personal account, just simply Alex with the Inkling Girl, um, and I'm going to be live streaming it pr probably about an hour and 30 minutes or two hours. I don't want to do too long because uh, I got other stuff to do on Saturday. Um, but I am going to be live streaming it on Saturday um, for the most part, most likely. Um, and I'm going to be streaming it on my personal account because, you know, playing on a level one account during this Blatfest is so um, anyway, uh, you know, that's very unproductive. So uh, anyway, we're going to head back here into Octo Canyon. And um, like I mentioned, uh, the way these episodes are going to work is we play one level of single player and then we do two, then we do two uh, games of multiplayer. Um, and then we may even do Salmon Run in this episode as well. So if you guys are lucky, you might see a little thing of Salmon Run here. So because I really love uh, Salmon Run. Um, the cool thing about the hub worlds in this game is that the hub worlds actually have balloons that you can get uh, the power eggs from. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's head in here. What's What level is this? Level two? Yes, okay. Welcome to Octopia, the summer wind rises. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna jump in here. <coughs> and here we go. So we got that little blowfish right there we can this guy screw him we can do this get all those boxes and get those power eggs right there and at the same time come up here these little ink sponges you could shoot them with your own ink and um i think i showed these off last time i think we had moray towers where no uh we didn't show them off okay yeah that's right um you could shoot them with your own ink and you can kind of use them as like a shield or a platform uh come on come back down here balloon is it gonna come back down or no i guess it flew away oh well dang it okay uh, whatever. Um, anyway, as I was saying, you could shoot these little sponges, and you could use them as shields, or you could use them as, uh, platforms. So if there's a place you need to get to, and you don't, and, you know, you can't jump high enough, uh, use the sponges as platforms. Like this right here, we could just use the sponge as a platform, uh, but I prefer inking up the wall, because I get the power eggs from doing that, so I'm gonna toss a bomb over there so I can hit that blowfish, get, kill all them. Then I'm going to come up here. I guess that balloon flew away. I'm going to toss a bomb right there. Okay, not bad. We're going to swim up this wall. You can press the B button, mash the B button while swimming to uh, swim faster. There's some power eggs right there. Good thing I saw them. You want to get as many power eggs as possible. And sometimes it's actually really good to go back and replay levels. Uh, just so you can get extra power eggs if you need to. So, yeah. Uh, let's continue going through here. Come on. Oh, guess I can't ink that, but I can ink this. So you gotta kill these Octo Troopers here. Let's see, is there anything on the other side over here? No, there's not. Okay. Um, is there anything we can get over there? Nope. Okay, just wanted to make sure because didn't want to go in empty-handed there. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got another Octo Trooper. Actually, a shielded Octo Trooper. So I'm gonna come down here and heal for a second. Let's see, is there anything over here? Nope. I'm going to come up here again, toss a bomb. Haha, <laughs> you're dead. Um, Octo Troopers are so stupid, especially the shielded ones. Um, okay, let's continue up here, get these power eggs, fish eggs, whatever they're called. Okay. Uh, like I said, you can use these sponges as shields. You can also use them as platforms. Let's see. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff indeed. Octoballers. These guys are octoballers because they shoot balls instead of just regular, you know, ink pellets. So, I think that's what their name is, octoballers. That's what I call them anyway. Um, I think the default name, though, is still Octotrooper, but uh, these guys, the squeegee, 
Uh, they suck up your ink. If um, you shoot ink on a wall or something, they suck it up. So you're gonna wanna like play distraction for it and um, shoot as much ink on the wall as possible and try to ink yourself a clear path. So, uh, let's see, we got some, let's see. More Octo Troopers here. Okay, we can use those sponges there as a platform. Okay. Just make sure there's no nothing down here. I don't think so. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Try and try not to go empty-handed here. Uh, we got some power eggs up there. I don't know how we're gonna. Oh, over here. Duh. Okay. So let me actually ink this up a little bit here. Uh, come on, get up there. Thank you. Got that. Let's hit this. And uh, here we go, continuing on. We got armor right there and a special. This is the splashdown. I'm not gonna use it right now because obviously I don't need to, uh, but I'm gonna use it up here in three, two, one, near them, boosh. And I killed practically all of them, really. There's another one over here. Uh, let's see, there's still a couple alive over here. Um, near them, boosh, we missed a couple. Oh well. Let's see, I think I saw another one over here somewhere. Or not. Uh, let's see. See if we didn't miss anything, just making sure. Um, okay, looks like we got everything, so let's go ahead and head up. Okay. Continue heading this way. So once again, we are using these uh, ink sponges as a platform. Octo Trooper here. Ooh, my armor's gone, dang it. I wanted to keep it for an extra 10 power eggs. Let's see. Nothing there. Let's do this. Armor. Got my armor back. Oh shoot! Took away my shields. There's an Octo Bomber right there. They throw uh, splat bombs. That was cool. We used the Blowfish right there to kill them. Okay, so now we need to use these sponges to get up to the top here. Just a bit farther. Uh, actually, I could do this be cheap and do that. There we go. Be lazy. <laughs> then let's head up here and grab our zapfish. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything down here. Um, is there anything on below us that we can get? Let me... Ch oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, thank God I didn't die there. Um, I'm just trying to make sure we didn't miss anything. I know there's a sunken scroll in this level. I have no idea where it is. Um, I don't plan on getting them. Maybe if I accidentally stumble upon one, but... I don't plan on going for 100% in the story mode in this game, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so we got a bonus 10 power eggs there. Not bad. Because we had the armor. Alright, and uh, that was level 2. Welcome to Octobia, the summer of Wind Rises. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the area where we can go back to Inkopolis Square. And um, now we are going to go and uh, go do two turf war battles here um, and then we are going to go actually I want to go back to the um, the uh, stores real quick I want to go see if there's anything I can buy like any clothes or anything that I could buy see if I can get some new gear um, I don't think I have enough money or actually no I'm only level two so it, it, I wouldn't be able to do it um, but we're gonna go to the lobby play two matches of turf war and then we're gonna go to um, Gritsko and play a little bit of salmon run so you guys are getting a real treat this episode. Uh, today I'm going to be using the Splat Roller. The Splat Roller is really good at covering area. And the Splat Roller's a little bit... Oh my god, we got some really high level players in here. It's funny because on my personal file, which is like level 17, I only get like weak players, like low level players. But then on, um, on the, uh, on, uh, my... Let's play safe file here. I get like really strong players. So luckily I'm really good at this game, but um, the splat roller is a little bit different because if you jump and then you hit the shoot button, it can actually fling vertically, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's a lot easier for killing enemies, but at the same time, um, it doesn't cover as much area. It just goes farther. Anyway, let's do it. And I'll show you what I mean right here. Boom. Boom. And it looks like we've got the curling bombs as our uh, subspecial, as our sub weapon, not our subspecial. What's a subspecial anyway? Um, I'm a huge fan of the curling bombs, but me personally, oh, I didn't see him. Ouch. 
Um, but me personally, I like the instant burst bombs better because they, if you do, if you know how to do burst canceling, which I know that sounds like a frame perfect thing from Super Smash Brothers. Um, if you know how to do burst canceling, you can kill enemies a lot quicker with uh, the instant burst bombs than you can with any other bomb. Oh, my eye itches. God, I hate when that happens when I'm playing the game. My eye itches. Okay. Oh, dang, he had ink armor. Shoot. Luckily, we got the Splashdown, though. That's my personal favorite special. Got him. I love the Splashdown. That is my personal favorite right there. Um, kind of reminds me of the Ink Strike from the first game, except it doesn't go as far. But it does cover some pretty good areas, so... Even if you're not around enemies, or, like, there's no enemies to be found, you might want to use your, uh... Got another guy right there. You might want to use your, uh... Splashdown anyway, just to cover more area, because it's actually really good at covering area. Let's see, do we got anybody following us? That guy's got the inkjet. Got another splashdown ready to go. Oh! Alright, Pikachu 914, you're my enemy. See, there's the curling bomb right there. I'm gonna cover up some of the stuff that my team didn't get here. Okay, I can't really tell who's winning. I'll pull up the map next time I die. Um, just to see. Maybe kind of see if anybody's winning here. Got him. Can't believe I got him, too. I was, like, out of ink right there. Boosh. Oh! Okay, let me pull up the map. Um, I think we're winning, but actually it looks kind of neck and neck to me. Uh, but from what I've seen on the map, I think we're winning. So let me go ahead and kind of cover this up because the roller's good at covering base area. Get this over here, too, for that extra percentage, even though it's only like 0.1 extra percent. Um, it's still good to get extra percentage, even if it is just 0.1. Okay, we're on to the last minute. Um, okay. Let's see, just grab as much area as possible. We're in enemy territory, so I'm assuming enemies are going to come try and kill me in a second. Yep, I knew it. There's enemies. Oh, shoot. Curling rush. Haha. -ha. Gotcha. I didn't kill you, but you died by my team's hand. Uh, I think we lost because we're in the danger zone. So, yeah, we kind of got our butts handed to us. Ah, oh, well, I want to have some wins and losses sometimes. You know, can't always win, can't always lose. Then again, I'm not very good with the rollers, so, eh, whatever. It is what it is. <clears throat> I mean, we didn't do too bad. We only lost by 20%, so that's not terribly bad. Oh, and there I go leading the team. <laughs> I say I'm not good with the roller, but there I am leading the team. All right, so I guess if I don't get the next map, which I'll check out here in a second, um, if I don't get the next map, then I'll just cut ahead to when I do get it. So let me see what the next map is. Um, okay, so we've got Sturgeon. So we just played on Starfish, so now we need Sturgeon. Okay, guys, so if I don't get the next map um, right away, I will cut it um, until I get the next map. So anyway, um, yeah. This game is fun. I've been playing it every single day. My personal favorite weapon is the Empery Splat Dooleys. Like, they're the best weapon in the game, honestly. Um, the best, uh, the best, like, shooter weapon in the game. Uh, like I said, I'm not very good with rollers or chargers, um, but definitely the Empery Splat Do Dooleys are the best. Uh, what are we getting? Sturgeon? Yes! Okay, so I didn't have to cut. Thank God. All right. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we can do better this time. I mean, part of it was my fault. I wasn't playing as aggressively as I normally do. Normally, I play, like, really aggressively where I'm just covering... Not not really covering area, but I'm more or less killing the enemy team. And I'm um, just trying to get rid of them so my team can go in and cover the area. In a way, I'm kind of like a decoy, if you will. Ink armor. Out of ink. Die! Dang it, dang it, dang it. Screw it. No one was near me, but I had to use that because there's way too much ink around me. Way too much enemy ink. Oh! Shot in the back of the head. Wow. 
That guy's got the dually squelchers. Those are actually pretty good. I tried those out recently and I like them. Not as much as I like the Imperi Splat Dooleys, but they're still fun. So I'm just going to cover up some of this over here. Look at all this that my team didn't get. Holy crap, guys. Plenty of corners that my team didn't get either. Oh, come on. I have not gotten one kill yet. That sucks. That guy had the Splatter Shot Pro. I'm not very good with that. I'm good with the original Splatter Shot, but with the Splatter Shot Pro, not so much. Um, I think the Splatter Shot Pro is just a little bit slower. It's just a little bit too slow for me. Um, weapons that are way too slow or that require long charge up times, I am not very good with, which is one of the main reasons why I'm not good with like um, the Splat, or not the Splat Dillies, but the uh, Splat Charger. God, oh my God, I was cornered there. Um, but one of the main reasons why I'm not good with the Splat Charger and uh, the Splatlings and so on and so forth, because they're slow and they require you to charge them up if you want to get the best shots possible. Oh, I got him. I don't know how I got him, but I got him. Oh, what? I thought I rolled over him. Ah, oh, well, we may end up getting two losses this time. Ah, oh, well. I am a little bit rusty with the Splat Roller, so whatever. See, I'll check the map the next time I die, which is not now, because <laughs> I actually managed to kill that dude. Oh, okay, I guess I'll check the map. Um, Actually, it's looking pretty even, so I'm going to say they have it, but looking at it now, it looks like we have it, actually. So let me just go ahead and cover up this extra percentage. I'm going to squid jump to one of my buddies over there. Boom. Would have been cool if I had a splashdown, especially if somebody was waiting right there. Ah, I didn't get very many kills this time. Um, I'm going to say we've got it, but it looks neck and neck. Um, honestly, I don't know. Okay, well, all we can do is hope. Ooh, yeah, they've definitely got this. They've definitely got this. Yeah, by 4%. Wow. <laughs> Dang, that sucks. Oh, and I didn't even do that good this time. Then again, I kept getting splatted, so kept getting killed. All right, let's see uh, how we're doing on time here. Um, only 17 minutes. Okay, so we can actually go ahead and start up uh, going to Gritsko and doing some Salmon Run, I guess. Um, I'm actually pretty decent at Salmon Run. Um, I really like it. It's fun. So, let's go to Gritsko, and uh, we're going to play some Salmon Run. Welcome to Gritsko Industries, and congrats on taking the first step towards financial security. Oh, you're a noob. Look, I'd hire you, but it ain't legal. Besides, you're just a liability. Come on back once you've hit level 4, and I'll give you a job. Oh, I guess um, we have to be level 4. All right. Um, oh well, um, so we have to wait until the next level. Um, let's hop into one more turf war and see if we can actually win. See if we can actually win a fight. I guess you guys are getting three turf war episodes today, or three turf war battles today, because I'm trying to prolong the video as much as I can, so that way it's, like, t over the 20 minute line, because I like to make my videos over 20 minutes. Alright, here we go. We've got players that are more my level, but still a couple of, you know, higher higher ups so you guys are getting a real treat here three turf war uh, playthroughs in one episode all right so we got two splat rollers in here on my team and then they got friggin rollers on their team actually he's got the uh, dynamo roller I think okay so we're playing on sturgeon again this is a map I'm honestly not very good at I thought it would be like a clone to, um, what's it called, uh, Salt Spray Rig in Splatoon 1. I thought it would kind of be like that, and it kind of is. Oh, I rolled over that guy, and it kind of is, but it's nowhere near as good. Like, I wouldn't really say this is one of my favorites. Got him. Okay, so we're in enemy territory right now. Oh, Jesus. Carbon Roller. Got splatted by a Carbon Roller. Okay. Okay. Let's see, cover some of this area that my team didn't get. Time to start playing aggressively. Get out of here, son. Let's see, he probably went over this way. 
Probably not a good idea to leave that area unoccupied. Yeah, he's still there. Oh, sh... Oh, no, the friggin' ink storm. Oh, no, the carbon roller is what got me. Okay. Uh, get some of this extra percentage here. Not that it really matters, but... Well, extra percentage always matters, guys. Just throwing that out there. Always get that extra percentage if you can. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Ah, oh, that stupid robot bomb. Ah, oh, man, the freaking auto bomb. <laughs> okay, I need to start throwing bombs more often. Come here, you can kindly die. Thank you. Got him out of our base. Okay, let me get more ink here. Okay, fill up on ink. I'm good to go. Got a splat jet or an ink jet right there. Can I get him? Nope. Come at me. Boosh. Stupid carbon roller. Ah! That stupid octo brush. Holy crap. All right, one minute left. Here we go. This is where the real stuff happens. I'll check the map here in a second when I die again. Because I know I'm going to die again, most likely. Oh, nope, nope. Got him! Okay, let me check the map. Um, It looks neck and neck, honestly. And in all honesty, it looks like they have it because they've covered more area. But to me, it looks more neck and neck. So, um, okay, let's get this guy. Get him out of here, at least. Got him. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, Jesus, Charger. Sniper. That guy has the Stingray, and now the enemies are in the danger zone, so I think we turned it around. Okay, I think we won. Let me look at the map. Yeah, looks like we won, I guess. I mean, maybe they might have turned it back in, like, the last two seconds, but who knows? Oh, no, we definitely got this. We definitely got this. Boom. Pretty much by 10%. Not bad. <sighs> All right, I didn't do too bad this time. I got five splats and 1,700 points, so that's not too bad. Um, okay. So with that being said, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And next time on Splatoon 2, we will be taking on level 3 in Octo Canyon and coming back, playing the Splat Roller one more time in the hopes that we can level up, get some new weapons, and hopefully try Salmon Run, okay? See you guys then. Peace.